Hello my dear beauties! Today I'm super excited to be back with a new series of hair tutorials. I just finished filming plenty of new videos and I hope that you're going to like them. Today I'd like to make a kind of an introduction and show you how to turn simple hairstyles into real head turners using trendy accessories. Over the course of the following weeks I'll be giving away the accessories from this tutorial on my Instagram. So stay tuned, and if you don't follow me yet, make sure to add me as Lilith Moon Life. Beautiful hair is your best accessory. So I'm going to start from attaching my glam time clipping hair extensions. In a matter of minutes, they give me all the length and volume that I need. I like my extensions wavy, but I don't like to damage them with high heat tools. That's why I often use jumbo curlers, soft bendy rollers that can be used overnight on dry or slightly dampened hair. In one of my previous videos I've already shown you how to use them, so feel free to check it out. You'll find the link on the screen and in the description box. And the first accessory that you can use to decorate your hair is going to be a ribbon. To give it a good grip, you can spray it with some hairspray before applying. And don't tighten it too much, otherwise it may slip. So keep it rather loose and, if necessary, secure with some bobby pins at the back. Once you find the best position to tie the bow at the back of your head, you can move on to the following step. Grab a strand of hair that lies above your ear, slightly twist it, bring it under the ribbon and secure in that position with a bobby pin. Then do the same procedure on the other side of your head. Have your beautiful romantic hairstyle. The bow at the back makes it look very feminine and unique. Let's now transform this hairstyle into a false messy braid. Just gather your hair into a low ponytail right below your shoulders, create a hole above the elastic band and flip the ends through this hole. Now tighten the ends to compress the ponytail a little bit. Hide the elastic band with a small strand of hair wrapped around it and secure it with a bobby pin. And you're done! It's literally as easy as that. The only condition for this technique to work as perfectly is to have wavy or curly hair. It doesn't give quite the same results on straight hair. This hairstyle is super versatile. You can wear it for a wedding, for all sorts of special occasions, but also in a casual way for parties and even for the beach. Just pick a different ribbon that looks more casual or skip the ribbon completely. That's what it looks like without any accessories. And now I'm going to show you how you could decorate it to give it a completely different feel. If you'd like to glam it up, you only need to add a little sparkle to it. While for a girly, playful, I would say Instagrammable look, you only need to add a big, colorful bow, either above or below your false braid. You could also tie a scarf or a ribbon in front to get a kind of a pin-up look. While if you plan to attend a wedding or a special event, this kind of a decorative comb would be definitely one of your best choices. It's really delicate and trendy at the same time, and I simply love it. The following accessory is a decorative wire attached with bobby pins on either end. You can attach it in multiple different ways, for example above your false braid or the bun or whatever hairstyle you're wearing lower down at the nape of your head. Or you could position it right over your hair, just like that. Just bend the wire in the desired position and it will naturally keep its shape. Now another type of a decorative comb. You could also place it in different manners, for example above your false braid, vertically or even diagonally, in case your hairstyle is asymmetric and perhaps sideswept, or even upside down, just like that. I hope that I managed to get you inspired to play with all sorts of different accessories. And if you don't follow me yet on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I'm going to put all the links in the description box. This way we can stay connected, because even when I don't have a chance to post new videos here on YouTube, I stay very active on social media. 
I'm sharing with you photos from my trips, my fashion, beauty, hair favorites almost every day. And currently my feed has turned almost completely pink with photos of cherry blossoms that I've taken in Japan and in Paris. So feel free to add me. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!